from YouTubers. It's been a little while since I did an unboxing video, but from the cars on uh, each side of me, you see uh, on your left is a uh, HPI RS4 Sport 3 Drift with a, it, it comes brushed, but I added a Mamba Max Pro 3800 KV brushless setup, Savox Servo, high speed servo, and Spectrum SRS 4210, so it'll have a gyro. Don't, I really don't use a gyro, uh, but it does help if I want to go in a straight line and actually do a speed test with the plastic wheels. Uh, and um, right is uh, a car that is almost unobtainable as of right now, brand new. Uh, since HPI, HPI Europe got bought out, they have stopped uh, distributing until everything gets back into place. So uh, what's in this box, I searched the entire country. There was only via internet. There was only two of this versions, a version that had a Corvette body and a version that had a uh, Hemi Cuda, Hemi Barracuda body. Uh, I'll get into it and you'll be able to see what it is. I got this from Maniac's Hobby in uh, Southern Florida. It's really close to Fort Lauderdale. Cutting the tape. They packaged it very nicely. Uh, I called on Saturday and uh, told them I would be ordering it on Wednesday when I got my check. And they obliged and held it for me, even though uh, it was over the phone. And I can already tell by the side it is what I ordered. Now we're going to slide it out. HPR RS43 Evo Plus. Comes with uh, a shaft driven two speed. Uh, uh, 3cc uh, nitro motor pull start which I have a bump box so that's what I'll be using to start this uh, uh, let's get into it I'm really not going to be worried about the any of the literature that comes with it because I mean that's really doesn't matter from this side. Factory sealed. So in here you have, uh, many people have done parts, but you have a uh, some wrenches, a four-way wrench, some extra C-clip, E-clip, some extra body clips, a uh, bunch of extra parts basically. And you can See, I mean, I'll open this up and actually go through it. I'll save the best for last. But you have some extra suspension pieces. Your battery. Uh, I have a hump pack that I'm going to be installing, but it does come with a uh, setup so you can use two AA batteries. I'm assuming this is a uh, some type of coupler for e either the uh, intake or exhaust intake I would assume uh, extra body clips and e-clips c-clips whatever you want to call them extra exhaust manifold and uh, whatever that clip right there is I think that's uh, for the uh, the bell crank the bell crank is 
uh, no, the uh, clutch belt is uh, threaded so you can change up the gears without having to buy a brand new belt crank. I mean, clutch, damn it, clutch belt. Uh, some extra pins, an extra some very small spring that I don't know what it's for. And here is a wing if I decide to add it, which I probably will. I'll paint it green to go with the rest of the car. Uh, two sets of plasma batteries, although I will not be using the uh, transmitter that comes with it. Uh, comes with an extra glow plug, which is the HPI cold glow plug. Uh, I may look into putting a turbo plug set up on this. And then, of course, you have your the standard TF. Uh, I believe it's TF. Yeah, standard TF40. Uh, this is, in my opinion, one of the best. Oh, I know why I came with eight, uh, eight double A's. Uh, four for your receiver pack and four for this. It's 2.4 gigahertz. You have your uh, steering trim right here, your throttle trim right here, and your dual rate right here. Uh, and back in here you have uh, steering left, right, throttle, low and high, I'm guessing. I've never used these. Uh, I use Spectrum and Fly Sky, so this is going to stay brand new and it's going to get sold. Along with the, uh, wow, this is really realistic. Uh, one thing also that I didn't show is this. This is the, uh, receive the battery tray cover. So now let's get to the main part. There you can see the car. Here's the literature along with the uh See I won't be using that because I'll probably cut it down to the length that I need because fly, the fly sky receivers only have an antenna that's about that long. 2.4 gigahertz. But you have to remember they, these go back to days when there was only when it was always 27 gigahertz. Oh wow, the car is already loose. There's one zip tie in the back. research about this car. I always research a car before I buy it so I know what I'm getting into. There we go. That's loose now. Here's the car. 1969 Mustang body, which that's the one I wanted. The one thing I will say that I don't like about this compared to the electrics is the electrics have the shock bodies are threaded. With this, you have to use clips. Not that big of a deal, but still. I'm definitely going to change out these body clips to black. I have extra black ones from these two. So here's the body, very detailed, uh, even has the uh, stacks, the intake stacks. Uh, I love the, I love the green. Uh, this is going to be named Hulk because the, of the obvious uh, green. Um, it has a hole right here to put your glow starter in, and like I said, it is a pull start right here. Uh, right here there's a hole for the wire and they already cut a hole in the front right in front of the engine so when you're moving air comes across the engine and there's also one in the back not only to get to the full start but also to let air escape from the engine so now let's get down to the chassis 
And once I get this off, I'll do a little close up of the body itself. As you can see right here, it even has a fuel injector, a mock fuel injector. Just stickers. It does come with light buckets, which is very cool because I have some lights that I'm going to install. See, light bucket, light bucket. That's very cool. And here is the chassis. So, starting from front to back, uh, shaft driven, two speed. Uh, uh, actually comes with a metal resonator, metal pipe. Of course, the usual warnings on top of the motor, on top of the tank, the break-in procedure that you need to go through. I've already read up about the break-in procedure. This looks like only maybe a 100 uh, cc. Um, I want to work it. Did it even come with a glow plug wrench? No, it did not, but I have one, so that's not a big problem uh, it has the uh, the type of throttle that's the uh, barrel type instead of the slide type that you would have on the Traxxas a lot of plastic links that are going to get changed out to uh, metal actual adjustable turnbuckles so I can dial in the suspension the way I want it one cool thing about this that I really like is if you take this body clip off and this body clip off, this entire section pulls off so you can get in there and clean it. And if you look, there's even a, a little guide right there. There's a little guide for the uh, pull start right there. And not many have done close-ups of this. And you can really see, there's the two-speed transmission. You have two, bit, uh, two, one, two. Of course, it always starts off with the first, the smaller pinion than the second. Uh, I've already been notified to uh, gear up the second gear to get a higher top speed. And I know what... Uh, I'll have to go back and read, but he told me what what to go with. Uh, you can't really see anything else. I mean, it's you can see the shafts. Well, not really. The shafts are down in here that power the front. I prefer shaft driven over belt driven because belts you're going to break. Shafts, not so much. But belt driven is faster. Um... I really like the uh, sort of gunmetal chassis plate, and there's the, uh, I wonder if I can get a cover for this, because I really don't like the fact that it the, the spur gears are exposed. I don't like that. Um, but other than that, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with it thus far. I uh, still got to break it in. It, it is brand new. So... That'll be, I don't know if it'll be today, maybe tomorrow, because it's very hot out today, and I just really don't feel like doing it today. I'm just happy to have it. Uh, there's only one more left if you're interested. It's uh, available at Debbie's RC World. Um, I believe they're in Virginia, and they do have one in stock if anybody's interested, so jump on it while it's still there because I only got one I believe this is the HPI T 3.0 motor I, I think you have the T and the G uh, but I also have a deal in the works over Facebook to get a, R, a Nitro RS Force uh, 2 uh, which is you can't buy those anymore and also a Nitro RS4 Drift a three Nitro RS4 3 drift and I'm getting those for a very very good deal uh, looks like the motor is 
bolted directly to the chassis but one thing that's really nice about the chassis as you can see there's a lot of different bolt holes so you can put different motors in these maybe a uh, Navarosi or a uh, LRP uh, 0.21 or something like that just to get a little more torque uh, it has a disc brake, which is up under the air filter. I don't know how well that can be seen. The two little shiny things, those are, those are the pads, which are going to be need, need to be reinforced. Uh, it can be adjusted via this little thing right here. Um, and one thing I really don't like about it is they use a lot of Phillips hardware, Phillips head. I'm going to change all of this stuff out to stainless steel. Uh, it does have mounts right here, that little round mount. Uh, that's for uh, anti-roll bars. Uh, very good car. Uh, wow, suspension's fairly stiff. Oh yeah, there is a zip tie on the front. They just didn't get it through the bot the the holder. But here it is, and like I said, it's got the uh, barrel type carburetor instead of the slide type, so it uh, rotates instead of pulls out to the side. I'd like to see if there's any way I can modify that to put a slide carburetor on this because slide carburetors are better. Uh, one thing I really do like is the priming, little priming button, so you don't have to plug the ex put your finger over the exhaust and give some yanks to this because when you do that you can flood the motor uh, i've heard uh pump it until fuel gets to the carburetor and then pump like once or twice more and that'll get it into uh a, that'll feed it even better and then it should start right up uh low speed needle uh is it looks like it's a little far out because it's supposed to be flush and then half a turn in. The high speed needle is supposed to be three uh, turns out from closed. Like I said, I, I didn't even have this car and I was already doing... Uh, I was reading all ab up about it so I'll know what to expect, what I'll need to get. I'll see how this pipe works, but there is a another pipe available that doesn't have this type of coupler it's a coupler like for os engine or navarosi engine where the uh the pipe actually goes over this part the header itself i'm gonna have to check and see if this header covers any part of the exhaust because if it does i'll have to dremel it out so the exhaust will have a free flow out because that's one thing I noticed with the Nitro Sport. With the stock exhaust, it had about three centimeters on each side, and about three millimeters on each side covering the exhaust port coming out of the engine. And when you got the upgraded header and pipe, it, it had a little bevel on each side, like, like that. Uh, so the entire exhaust port, all the exhaust could come out. But that's it. There she is. Um, I've been really getting into uh, on-road cars here lately. I, uh, I really don't live near a lot of place to bash four-wheel drives. I mean, I, ha I have them. I've cleaned up my living room. I have a T-Max on the right, a Revo on the left, Nitro Revo on the left, a Baja in the back. Over here, I have a, a DBXL, but it's a very nice car, very realistic. Uh, stickers I'm definitely going to take off is the uh, need for speed, because yeah, um, I this is an RC car, not a video game or a movie. And where'd the wing go? the wing would go back here to give you extra downforce but i'll have to see how it works at first if it's a a little tail happy 
or and it ha has a lot of oversteer over you, there's two things you have understeer which is basically when you try to turn and the car continues to go straight it's known as uh, uh, understeer or pushing oversteer is when the ass end the back of it tries to spin out and come to the front but they did a HPI did an amazing job on this, and I'm very happy I was able to find one. Cause one thing, one thing I noticed when I started looking at ordering a, a new RC vehicle, uh, there's a lot of vehicles out of stock. The uh, Traxxas NHRA Funny Car out of stock. Traxxas Fortec out of stock. This there was only two. Uh, all online. There's some available in Europe, but I live in the United States of America. Go Trump. Um, so, that's it. Uh, I will definitely keep everyone updated. If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and you'll continue seeing videos and updates as I get things done to it. Uh, now I have to get the, uh, I believe it's Yeah Racing or Hot Racing aluminum suspension for all three cars. Uh, I have learned to love the RS4 because it is such a nice, nice car. Not only the chassis are amazing. Uh, HPI put a lot of work into the RS4 and it is a proven, very good on uh, on road car. But. I'm going to end it there. Hope y'all enjoyed the uh, video. Please give me a thumbs up, comment, uh, any questions. If you want to see a certain part or if you want to know something, let me know. Uh, I'm very active on my page. So until next time, peace.